Council. Um, I'm not entirely sure at the moment. I need to have a look at how, how the setup works. But I think, you know, basically that's the option, I think, that is the easiest for everybody to go forward with. Does anybody have any other comments on that? Can I just mention I was at East Brent earlier this week for their parish council meeting and they're going down the same route. Um, mm. So what they're doing is a generic, I think it's, they're going for first name plus the surname initial, then East Brent Parish dot gmail. Mm. Um, and so each of them will have mm. that same sort of format. Um, and obviously then they, uh, as far as I understand it, they're, they're, I, I, I'm not, I don't know, technicality of how you would do it, but apparently you can then get that redirected to another address if you wish to, or you can do it, access it through Gmail and keep it completely separate, but that's up to uh, individual members. Yes. Um, but it would mean that there would be a standard um, address. East Brent had looked at, because rather like us, they've got a, do they've got a domain which mm -hmm. they use for their clerk at the moment, but they were, they were advised that if they did it they could get custom ones through their domain, but it was going to cost something like 600 quid per mm. annum to have more than about eight. Mm. Um, so, mm. again, so this is without cost. So, um, no, you know. Yeah, I think it's fairly simple that all councillors just set up an email address that they use purely for parish council business, yeah. and then that secures your other email account and so all of my Frank Noll emails go to one email address and nothing else goes there. Okay. So our members happy that we go ahead on that basis that we look for getting that sorted and then what we'll do is, is get some instructions as to... Yeah. David, just would you be able to sort of help us on that a little bit? For yeah. Idea? I mean, I'll get to uh, get uh, my, my my PC man in, but maybe not as necessary because you're probably able, able to do it anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if everyone's happy, we go ahead on that basis. Yes. Any dissent? No. Okay. Um, I think that's the last item on the whole agenda, apart from matters of report. Um, the one thing I was going to raise under matters of report from from me was. We did have a, a letter sent out to us um, talking about uh, some grants that were requested for some individuals. Um, the problem is, as a parish council, we can't do grants to individuals. Um, we don't have the power of well-being. Uh, general power of competence. Competence, thank you. Power of competence. Um, so if a council has that, then it means that you can do a lot more things that you... So let's put it around the other way. Generally, the council could only do things that it's permitted to do. Whereas if you have the power of competence, you're like an individual, you're permitted to do pretty much anything unless there is something telling you you can't do it. So one of the things that are in there at the moment, we're not permitted to give grants to individuals. Um, so we couldn't do that. But now the power of competence, you have to have had, is it two thirds of the council? Uh, no, it's less than that actually. I think it's only four, I think it's four percent. I'm not sure of the figure, but we don't, we don't achieve we it anyway. So when, when we only so have five have members put forward for the actual election, that means that for the term of this council, we're not going to be able to take that up as, a, as an option. Um, if you end up with everyone standing, all of the vacancies being contested, then we would be able to apply to go down that route with a, there are other hurdles you have to get over, but that's the first one. So as yet, we, we can't do that. Um, the only thing we could do, and it would be up to the applicants themselves, is if, if the guides as an organisation wanted to apply to us for a grant for the guides to help support members of their guide troop to do something, that would be something they could do because they're an organisation and we would then have to decide whether that's something we wanted to do. But because it's an organisation within the village, we would be permitted to at least consider that, whereas unfortunately, although the, the applications were incredibly well put together, yes. We're just not in a position to do it, and that's why it wasn't something that we could turn. We've done it to the guys before, and with the guys in rainbows, we have actually given grants to approve as well. Correct. Okay, uh, Colin, anything you wanted to raise? No, thank you. No, no. David. Um, for the next agenda, drainage in Crooked Lane. Drainage Crooked Lane. And the possibility of the council buying the strimmer. Right. Council strimmer. <laughs> okay. Liam? Yeah. Uh, well, I've been approached by Councillor about some uh, funding for additional um, 
first aid in the village, including the review later, as we've seen that word, uh, and also um, other life-saving or emergency care. Right. Um, just a reference to one of my neighbours who had a very nasty accident uh, recently, so um, I'll provide some more information about that next month. That's it. Okay. So just remind me, I have a defibrillator here. Yeah? Right, the, uh, first emergency first aid training for villagers and possibly a, 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 an additional defibrillator session. Uh, two separate questions. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We, did, we did do training uh, in the village um, a couple of years ago now on first, um, first responder, um, which well, it was fairly successful, but we didn't have a good turnout. Mm. Um, and we, no, we have history as regards the provision of a deep river. Yeah, it goes back a long way. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, just to add to that, uh, just an aside, uh, said neighbour had to wait five and a half hours a horizontal uh, for a uh, ambulance to arrive, so it was really critical and several neighbours in the village did come and assist her, including myself on the medical, uh, but um, yeah, several villages, so uh, maybe if it's two years ago, maybe it's worth putting back on the on, on the table. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Put on the agenda. Yeah. Okay, I think that's that's the whole agenda, so thank you all very much, we'll close the meeting and uh, next meeting's on the fourth floor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.